Okay, YouTube, so Paul Bates here with uh, Bates Outdoor Adventures. And today I want to talk about Coral Pink and the camping out there. There's three major places you can camp. One is the main campground. That's the first one I'll drive you through. Uh, they have showers and bathrooms. Uh, there's a new section in there that has big pull-through sites, about 10 of them, I guess. And then um, you can pay to camp there. It's about 30 bucks a night, and you can go online and reserve your spot, or you can just drive up and see what they have. They also have a day park there. To pull into the day park's about eight bucks. And fun riding right there out the dunes. Then the next place I'm going to take you over to is what I call the corral, and it's got ruined about a year ago, but it, it's it's coming back. They they put a new uh, access road into it now, and it looks better. But if it's raining out, I mean you got to stay way up on the edges, and you know it's probably limited what you could do there. But it's free camping, so it's very cool. And then the next place I'm going to take you over to is Elephant Butte. Over there, there is a restroom, um, a, a public restroom that you can use, and then uh, camp over there. Again, the same storm that uh, tore up the corral, tore that up over there. Just put a lot of sand down there, so it's easy to get stuck, and it's not as it's not as nice as it was uh, a year ago. But it's coming along, and it's looking better and better. It didn't look horrible this time, and there was a few people camped in there. You can see that. So if you have any questions, just shoot us a, a question on our comment, and we'll uh, get back with you and let you know. Thanks, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, so here I am. I'm taking you through the main campground right now. This is the old one. This one's been there for a while. And I don't know how many spots. You know, there's probably 40, 50 spots. And here's a cool group site in the back. If you have anything super big, you can get back there. But you're not getting anything real, real big in here. I've been in here with a, a Class A 36-footer with a about a 15, 16-foot trailer, and that's about as big as you can get. I, there's no way I'd even try and bring my toy hauler in here. It was just too small. But a fun place to come. Uh, it, it really protects you from the wind out there, so it's, it's nice to stay up here in the campground. And you can see I'm driving through right here. There's a restroom in here. There's a shower. And if you're camping at any one of the other campgrounds, you can actually pull in here and pay to take a shower. So that's kind of cool. Okay, after leaving uh, the campground here, you can see up here on the left there's a little pull, pull, pull out, and in that pull out there's a full. You can use this as a dump station. There's no hookups in here. It's all generator. It's quiet hours. Right here is the pull through. Right here you can pull through there, right there, and then they have, that's where your trash, and then they have a dump station in there, and water and uh, dump station for you. Here's one of the public restrooms right here on the right. Okay, so this is where I stayed. You can see I'm camped right here in spot number one. And you can come around here, and this is the new section. You can get big rigs in here. This is the best place to go if you've got a 45-footer. Right now, you can't reserve these spots online. You'll have to call in, and it's first come, first serve. Um, sometimes you'll call, and uh, they, they'll let you know that day if you can get in or not.
Now I'm taking you over. Now I'm taking you over to the corral here. And you can see here, we'll do a circle around the corral here. I'll take you all the way around there. So this is beautiful. I camp. I've camped here a lot. I've camped here for as long as a week at a time. This is free camping. Uh, just be respectful of the people around you. No littering. And you can see right here that water puddle is pretty much there all the time. But what happened here when a storm came in, it brought a lot of sand, a lot of dirt in here. So this is all just a big mud hole, especially when it's raining out. You just got to stay out of here if it's raining. But you can see right here, I'm going to take you for a ride all the way around the edge here. So if you've got to have cell service, this is the only place to do it, really. Um, there's no cell service at any of the campgrounds, not, nothing that I know of. I've never been able to get anything. But if you go up here to the top of the dune, you can see it right up there to the right, and you just go up there to the top of that peak on the right-hand side, there's uh, cell service up there. you got full uh, LTE service. Don't ask me why, but just go in. It's that one little spot, and that's where I have to go if I want to do phone calls or check emails. I'd say one of the disadvantages to be in here is um, the wind. Uh, we've been in here a few times when the wind just w will catch you, and it's 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 pretty brutal. Now it doesn't look as bad right now because this dirt level has come in here, and so it's not as bad with the sand. It looks like it would be wouldn't be as bad, but there's nothing here to protect you. So when you're camping here, just be aware of it. All right, so this is a uh, coral pink, and this is out uh, what I call the corral. And you can camp out here, it's free. There's no charge to camp out here. But it's a little ruined. Uh, last year we had a big storm come through here and it kind of it, it, it tore the ground up a little bit. So I'm gonna show it to you here. It looks like they're still uh, around these edges right here. You just have to really ride that. We just rode around that edge right there. I'll show it to you in the video. But you have to stay close to the edges over there. You get caught out in the middle of here in, in uh, some uh, major rain or anything. It could be a mess. So here we go, we're heading over to Elephant Butte right now and you'll see it pulling up here on the right hand side. If you're coming from St. George, it'd be on your left hand side if you're coming from Cane Beds. If you're coming from Canab, it'd be on your right hand side. And here you go, you can see us pulling in here right now. Elephant Butte, you can camp over here and you can see they have a restroom over there. Um, we've camped here several times. Uh, last year a big storm came through and kind of uh, brought a, washed in a lot of dirt. It wasn't like that last year, it was more hard packed. But it looks like it's it's starting to pack up again for this season and looks like a decent place to uh, camp. And again, that's free camping right here. So I do this video so that you guys kind of have an idea of what you're doing, what you're getting into when you get out there. So, you know, video pretty much for the first time we're out at Coral Pink and you're going to camp. So it's a beautiful place to camp. This is, again, where you're looking at here in this picture is Elephant Butte. Lots of trails from here. you got the dinosaur tracks you can go to right from here. Um, the big barracks ride uh, over to Count Mark Carmel. Anyway, just a beautiful place to ride. And you won't regret any of the camping out here. Yes. Okay. Okay, YouTube. YouTube it's uh, Paul and Bev here. And uh, peace out. And we'll see you guys see you. on the next adventure. See you Daisy. on the trails. Bye-bye. Anyway, good luck.
Uh, be safe out there, and uh, we uh, look forward to seeing all of you at some point in, uh, out on the trails. Crank her up. Let's go, Daddy. Yeah. All right.